Good morning, students. Welcome back to Biology Classroom once again. I hope all of you have watched the last video. Today, I am going to discuss the interaction within the biotic components of environment and the energy flow. First one is your food chain. Anything which we eat to live is called food. Food contains energy. The food can be transferred from one organism to the other organism through food chains. So what is food chain? Food chain is a kind of chain whereas normally energy transfer from one organism to another organism. The starting point of food chain is the category of organism called producers. Producers are the main source of energy. They produce the food and we collect or depend upon them directly or indirectly. Producers are in fact plants. So we can say that all the food chains begins with the green plants which is the original source of all food. Let us take an example to understand the meaning of food chain. Suppose there is a field having a lot of green plants. Now plant can be eaten up by a rat. The rat in turn can be eaten up by a cat. And finally, the cat can be eaten up by a wolf. So, we find that here is a sequence, I mean order, in which one organism eats up the other organism to fill its belly. This sequence of living organism in a community in which one organism consumes another organism to transfer food energy is called food chain. So, what is food chain? Food chain is the sequence of living organism in a community in which one organism consumed by other organism to transfer the food energy that is called food chain. In simple words, a list of organisms showing who eats whom is called food chain. So what is food chain? Food chain is a kind of sequence by which normally food, I mean as a form of energy is transferred from one organism to another organism by consuming them. Let us make this point more clear by taking the example of simple food chain operating in a grassland or a forest. In a grassland or forest, there is a lot of grass. This grass is eaten by a animals like deer and this deer is then consumed by a lion. So here as the first consumer is deer again and deer is eaten up by lion. This food chain tells us that grass is the starting point of the food chain. I mean producers. The grass is eaten up by deer and deer is eaten up by lion. In this food chain grass is producer which uses sunlight energy to prepare food like carbohydrates by the process of photosynthesis. This green is, sorry, this grass is then consumed by a herbivore called deer. And the deer is consumed by a carnivore called lion. So here is a forest food chain. Here is in a grassland, grass is the main producer who basically produce their own food with the help of photosynthesis process by using the sunlight to prepare the food like carbohydrates. Same way, grass is eaten up by the first producer, sorry, first consumer that is one kind of herbivore like deer. Again, deer is eaten up by the carnivore like lion. Here is a food chain. Through this food chain, energy transfer from producer to consumer. A food chain represents a single directional transfer of energy. In a food chain, energy is transferred in a single direction. Energy cannot backflow. For example, the above food chain tells us that transfer of energy takes place from grass to deer, then lion. It cannot take place in the reverse direction from lion to deer to grass. The study of food chain in an area or habitat help us knowing various interaction among the different organisms and also their interdependence. So normally in a food chain, energy can flow in one direction only. Energy cannot backflow because like the example is normally 
from the grass the energy transfer from deer again lion so it cannot backflow in lion to deer and grass once again so from this point it is proved that in a food chain energy can flow in only one direction that is an example it is a grass grass first eaten up by rat again rat is eaten up by a snake and snake is eaten up by a eagle so it is a food chain it is a producer first one it is a first consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer next food web food web is basically several interlocking and interdependent food chains in an ecosystem so what is the meaning of that food web web means network whereas it is a collection of lots of food chain i mean this web ki dwara normally bahut sara ecosystem ko control karta hai that is known as food web each having organism in the ecosystem is a part of multiple chains what is the collection of multiple food chains for instance a grasshopper and a giraffe are herbivores similarly different herbivores can be eaten up by different carnivores thus we see that there are a, there are a lot of food chains that prevail in an ecosystem which are interconnecting overlapping and interdependent in nature i mean what is food web basically web means network it is a collection of multiple number of food chain whereas like grasshopper giraffe deer they are different herbivores and they are eaten up by different carnivores so here as food chain normally that prevails that an ecosystem whereas interconnecting overlapping and interdependent in nature bahut sara food chain ek upar ke upar overlap ho raha hai hence we can described food web as a network of food chain that are linked together in one form to another so normally food web is a interlock of lots of multiple number of food chain where are the food chains are linked together one form to another this is a example sorry this is a chart of food web look at the chart plant is the main producer plant is again eaten up by a grasshopper again it is a bird it's a rat and it is eaten up by a rabbit same way rabbit again eaten up by a hawk mice is eaten up by a hawk seed eating bird it is also eaten up by hawk same way grasshopper is eaten up by a frog and frog is eaten up by a snake here is a producer primary consumer secondary consumer so here is a net like collection of different food chains that's why it is proved that food web is a sequence whereas it is a interlock of lots of food chain and they are depending on each other and energy flow one from to another through a food chain in this food web we can see a network of numerous pathways along which the food flows within the grassland community this food web starts from the plant which is a producer and ends in the top carnivore hawk there are the as many as six food chains operating in the food web shown above the which have been marked 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here is look at the figure there are six food chains it is the collection of food web first one is in the fast food chain plants are eaten up by rabbit and then the rabbit is eaten up by hawk again the in second food chain plants are eaten up by a mice and mice are eaten up by hawks next in the third food chain plants are eaten up by mice mice are eaten up by snake and then snake is consumed by hawk so plant is producer primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer in the fourth food chain plants are eaten up by a seed eating birds and seed eating birds are consumed by hawk again in the fifth food chain plants are eaten up by a grasshopper and the grasshopper is consumed by hawk so here as a plant is producer grasshopper is primary consumer sorry again hawk is tertiary consumer बीच में सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर नहीं है ग्रास पर को डायरेक्ट हॉक भी खाता है 
in the six food chain plants are eaten up by the grasshopper grasshopper is eaten up by frog and again frog is eaten up by snake and snake is again eaten up by tertiary consumer like hawk so student i hope all of you have understood what i have discussed today so for today up to this portion